Yo, yo, what up, fam? Your boy's still alive, baby. Still kicking. Been sick as hell for a minute. It's going to be another minute before it's gone. But anyway, I was just wanted to kick this to you real quick while I'm feeling good for a minute. <laughs> um, so title companies, right? Everybody's always saying stuff like investor-friendly title companies, uh, all this other bullshit. How do you find a title company? Any, anyone who buys a house, even if you're buying it to live in it, whatever, it's an investment. Okay, so all title companies typically unless they're like super old school, are closing on investments, all right? All property purchases are investments. Whether you want it, whether you're looking at it as a place to live or looking at it as an investment, it don't matter. It's still an investment. So when you're, when you're, let's say you got a deal locked up on a contract and let's say you got a buyer, now you're like, I need a title company. And you hear all this stuff about people double closing and all this other shit. It's not necessary unless you're making like 30 grand or more on the deal. It's not really necessary to double close. I haven't done it. But anyway, lots of people don't. And most people don't do it. But it costs you money to double close. Anyway, when you call a title company, right, you don't know these people. So I see people calling them and they're saying stuff like they'll get the receptionist will answer the phone who don't know shit. And they're going to be like, do you guys double close? Do you guys do wholesale closings? Do you guys do wholesale deals? And all that. And the receptionist is going to be like, hell no, that sounds sketchy as fuck. So what you do when you call them is, uh, you say, uh, can I speak to somebody about scheduling a closing? And you're like, all right, hold on one second. Boom, they transfer you to one of the attorneys. Hey, how you doing? My name's so-and-so. Are you one of the attorneys? Yeah, okay, great. Uh, I'd like to schedule a close, and it's going to be in an assignment. So I'm going to assign the contract that I have for purchase with the seller over to an end buyer. And the difference in between the two prices of the sell, from the seller contract that I have, that I'm basically going to assign the contract to the buyer, the difference between those two prices is my fee. Is, do you guys, can you do that? Can you do assignments of contracts? 99% of the time, they're going to say yes. Now, the, when you call them and, and talk like that, they're not going to hang up on you and be like, no, and just be like, bye. They're going to understand that you need a specific, you know, type of, you know, some, some people, you know, they work with realtors or whatever, whatever, they, whatever their deal is. I don't know. But some people, they, you know, they used to do assignments, but people fucked it up because they were stupid in there trying to double close and rip people off and shit. People, there's wholesalers out here giving us a bad name about how they conduct their business. Whether they intend to do it or not, I don't know. Probably not, but they, you know, people are, people can be stupid, dude. But anyway, uh, it's, we're all human. But anyway, when you talk to title companies that don't do wholesale deals and stuff like that, but you approach them in that way, instead of be like, do you double close? Immediately, right out the gate, you sound like you're trying to hide something. So they're not going to trust you. And they don't want to bring no shady shit into their business, okay? They don't want to do business with people that are doing shady business or trying to do shady business, okay? That's their business. They're running the business. Um, but when you call them and talk to them, like I just said, they'll, they'll be like, no, we don't do those anymore, or no, we don't do those, but this attorney down the street, I think, does. Here's their name and number. Boom. Call them, do the same thing. Lock it up. Thank them a lot. Thanks for doing business with you. I can't wait to call you back here soon. We can do a lot of deals together, and we can all be fruitful. Boom. That's how you find a title company. All uh, property uh, purchases are an investment. Trailers, whatever. Land, it's all an investment, okay? You're buying something, and it's going to get better over time. That's an investment. Anyway, don't act stupid when you're dealing with lawyers. Those people are smart. So talk, think fast, talk slow, and let them tell you. All right? You don't tell them shit. You, you're going to come up in here acting like you got a wholesaling degree and try to tell a lawyer how they're going to do their business. I don't think so. So just ask them a simple question and let them tell you what's up. All right? That's a tip for today from your boy, Justin Smoothie, the Savage Investor. I'll be back soon. We'll kick this little, this little sick shit I got going on, and we're going to be back on the board again. All right, then. Adios.